Hey everybody, and welcome back to Time Value Videos. In this video, I'm going to show you how to reference data from a different workbook. So, um, not even a different sheet, like you could reference between sheet one and sheet two, but a different book altogether. And it doesn't even have to be uh, in the same folder. So I'm going to show you how to do it. If it's in a completely separate folder, you can use the the, the address up here. Um, if I click up here, you can see how there's an address. You can use that to reference another book. So what I did is I made one called Our Book. It's a just a workbook, kind of called it that. And then Sample Data, which I'm going to fit in right here. So let's do customer name, and then customer ID, and then order number, oops, and then cost. And we'll just do something like that. And then, so customer name, we'll do The Simpsons. So we'll do Homer, Marge, Bart, Lisa, Maggie. Customer ID, we'll do one, two, three, four, and five. Order number, and then we'll just do like 101, 102, 103, 104, 105. And then how much did they charge? And we'll do equals ran between 10 and 50. There we go. And then I'll use control D to just copy these down. There we go. So we have kind of a random cost. And then I'll give it uh, dollars. So they're all even dollar numbers, but there we go. Okay, so this is our sample data we're going to use. Sample data. I'm going to save it so that we have this book to work with. And then I'm going to go back to our book. And so let's say we're uh, building like a report and we have a report that we're going to give to our manager or we're going to use just to manage our own business. And we have the sample data that's generated from maybe the sales team or the accounting department. They can send over a spreadsheet. We can have that saved um, like in, a, in a, a shared drive or something like that if you have you know, like a drive where your whole office uses the same one. It's saved on there so you can reference it and other people can reference it. And it's, it's not, uh, you're not going to be unable to find it from someone else's computer. Uh, that, that's a really, you know, common reason to need to reference other books like this. So what we can do is if the book's open, let's, I'm going to show you first when they're both open, it's super simple. You just do equals and then you reference the cell. You go click over there and hit enter and it's there, right? And then if I click on the cell, you can see the, f the formula is sample data in braces, right? Because this is a separate uh, file. So it's sample data dot XLSX and that's just the extension for Excel workbooks. But it's in braces uh, to, to in indicate that it's a, another file. And then sheet one, that's the sheet that the data is on. The exclamation point tells us that it's a sheet. So every time there's a sheet, you put an exclamation point after it. And then A1 is the cell that we're working with. So I can, uh, there's dollar signs on that. So what I can do is, I c if I can type it in too, I can say it's called sample data. I don't think there's a space there. We'll see in a second. And it's sheet, oh, s sorry, sample data dot, uh, XLSX for an Excel file. And then sheet one exclamation point cell A1, right? I don't have to capitalize it, it'll work. And then customer name, perfect. So I'm gonna go back, I'm gonna change that to A2. You can see it's Homer, and then I can drag that down. And then after Maggie, there was nothing, so it comes in as a zero, but I'll get rid of that. And then I can do the exact same thing, drag it over here. I can drag it up, and we have the entire table right there. But maybe I, you know, if you have a huge table or something, you maybe don't, don't want just that exact thing. So maybe I just want to be able to type in a number and find, so I can say like um, customer ID equals index. So I want to return um, the customer ID comma match. Homer in the list of names, zero, double close. There we go. So now if I do this, I can change this to Marge, and then that'll automatically update. I can change this to Lisa, and this should become a four next to it. Yep, there you go. So that'll automatically update with the customer ID, and you can do the same thing for those. But this video is about how to reference the other page. So if you look in here, we got sample data, XLSX, sheet one, and then range B match with A2, which is on this sheet. So we don't have to have the reference for the, the sheet that we're pulling from because it's just A2 on this one, on the same sheet, same workbook. So it's all right there. And then sample data, range A. So it's all perfect. You can just reference like that. Now there is one uh, caveat here. If the workbook is not open, then it's a little oh. bit different. So I'm going to close it. I'm going to save it and close it. And now look how it changes. Now we have the entire address for it. It's in the, oops escape so it's in the C drive under users me my videos time value videos reference another book that's the folder that I'm in and then the file right so you have to use the entire address for the the folder and you use an apostrophe the drive that you're in and then 
you could memorize, you know, the whole thing and blah, 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 and everything that's in there. But it's such a pain in the butt to try to remember, like, how many folders that you have to go through in order to get to the one you want. So I would just go into your folder, find where your data is. So right here, it's sample data. So I know that it's in here. Click up here so that it highlights this whole thing. Hit Control C to copy it, or you can right click and copy. Then you can just go back here and you, you know, it's equal sign, then an apostrophe, paste it. And then now we're going to have the, uh, the range for the uh, file. So it would be sample, no space, data, uh, dot x, l, s, x. See, it's even hard to remember even if I just said it. So sheets, sheet one, exclamation point, a one. Uh, oh, because we forgot to close our parentheses or our, uh, our quotes. So it should be right there, I think. Nope. All right. So let's see what I'm missing. Uh, oh, it's bef that's weird. It's before the exclamation point. Okay. So equals, boom, um, and then sample data dot x l s x close sheet, and then we do that. Oh no, sorry. Sheet one, then the apostrophe exclamation point a one. There we go. So that's how you'd have to type it if you wanted to reference that whole thing. So you just need to remember that it's the whole uh, the whole address for it and not um, just the, the, the name. Because if you just call uh, the name of the workbook, Excel's not going to know, if it's not open, it's not going to know where that workbook is. It can be anywhere on your, on your entire hard drive or computer or whatever. So uh, you need to give it the full reference of where it's at. But when you do this, um, kind of things that you you could use this for, like I mentioned before, if you have an office with a shared drive, you can do that. What I've done is I've had uh, uh, like a payroll application where I've I've done payroll for a company um, where I have all of the sensitive information, like the like the uh, employee names and social security and all that stuff, um, on an encrypted file, where that file can be decrypted when I need to use the data and then re-encrypted again. Um, and then I pull data from, from it, from one, from this file, um, where I reference back and forth. And so that could be one where you just need to get quick information, but you don't want to have all of the information in one common area because, um, it's too easy for someone. If you need to give a report to somebody, you don't want to give them all this extra data that they don't need. Uh, so I want to be able to share some of my files, but not everything. So I keep the, the private stuff on a separate encrypted folder. So that could be another another reason for you to want to do this. And I'll show you actually the reason I'm doing this video right now on how to uh, reference another another sheet like that is because uh, I'm going to show you how to do that payroll application in another video in the future. But um, this is going to be one of the ones one of the uh, skills that you'll need to have in order to to make that one work. So I want to be able to reference this video in the future to show people if you need a uh, review on this topic, go back to this video and I can link to it. So that's how to uh, uh, reference another workbook um, information on somewhere else. So just remember to use the, uh, the address that's up there. And if you have any questions, absolutely feel free to uh, leave a comment or uh, send me a message, and I'll try to help you out. All right, thanks for watching.